name is Olga and this is my channel about startups. And today I would like uh, to talk about data room. What is data room about and why and when startups need to create data room? Data room is like a number of files that you as a startup will share with potential investors. You can share these files when you fundraise either it's pre-seed, seed or round A. And I want to show you an example of a Google um, Cloud uh, fi uh, file or folder uh, with a number of files that uh, a startup uh, shares with its investors when, it's ra when it raises round A. And I will comment what kind of files you will need to upload if for example, you just raise pre-seed round or seed round or round A. So, uh, important data. What, what files do you need to have or you must have as a startup when you raise round A? Invest, investment deck. And that's the same if you raise pre-seed or seed round. Investment deck uh, or pitch deck is something that you must have in your data room. I have examples of pitch decks in my, on my uh, channel. Please subscribe. Historical data. That only happens if you are around a startup and you already have some revenue, clients, etc., and you have some historical data about your growth. If you are a pre-seed startup, you probably won't have it. Growth strategy. That is uh, the same for all kinds of startups, no matter what kind of uh, round you are at. Uh, you can have a growth strategy. It can be either description or video. So how are you going to grow? What is go-to-market strategy? Regional sales. That only um, happens if you, are, if you already have sales. Customer pipeline. The same. If you are a round A startup, you already have customers. You probably have some CRM like HubSpot and you have pipeline there. And it's a pipeline like how many clients do I talk to? How many clients do I send quotes to? How many clients do I have first meetings with? How many clients do I have second meetings with? with? How many clients signed the contract? How many clients I launched? That's a pipeline. Financial model. That is true for all kinds of startups. You have to have financial model for a serious A startup. It's already real numbers for pre-seed and seed round startup. That's kind of a, a perspective, uh, your expectations. Uh, achievements and recognitions might be true for series A and uh, seed startups. Second part, competitive landscape. Uh, competitive battle cards and market research. Here you talk about your competitors, either direct or indirect ones. Everyone has competitors, so you better name all of them, showing your investor that you understand the market. Uh, customer data, that is that is only true for Series A and seed startups, where you describe your cohorts. Uh, cohorts, I also, I think I have a video about that. Uh, you, for example, in January, you had 100 clients. How many clients from January still buy in February? How many clients from January still buy in March? How many clients from January still buy in April, etc.? That is called cohorts. Customer lists, again, that's only true for startups that have revenue. Team, uh, founders, executives, organizational chart. That's something every startup should have. Cap table. This is a uh, cap table means how many shares each founder has and also investors have. So that's the important piece. S second one. Uh, pro this part is about your CTO. So your CTO has to develop product overview and roadmap. Roadmap means uh, if you get money, uh, what will be the milestones in terms of product development? In January, we will have this. In March, we will have that, etc., etc. So product roadmap. Product 
uh, FAQ, uh, questions you usually get about product with answers. So investors can, you know, read questions and answers and maybe answer their own questions. Uh, product deck, uh, again, architecture of product. Uh, that, that's all about details about, of your uh, product, especially if it's very complicated. And some access to your product so investors can have a look. Uh, ex ex um, hiring plan. That's, for example, if you want to raise Series A and you have planned to hire these people. Legal part. Uh, all the legal documents you have about incorporation, IP, uh, IPs, uh, NDAs with clients and employees, and also maybe previous rounds uh, documents uh, if you raised uh, some. And the last part is about your um, uh, media. How are you in on media? Uh, customer contacts and details, again, a little bit overlapping with this part interviews if you have if you did some customer development interviews and you recorded them you can share them with investors it's a very strong point if you have a proof of your hypothesis through interviews and last part if you have any public publications in media that's also a very strong part about you so that's about data room. Uh, please write your comments, questions, subscribe and share. Thank you.